We knew Ryan was special from the first day uh, we met him. Well, you looked at him in high school and said, uh, this young man will play in the NFL. That this kid is unbelievably special. He just has it. Whatever it is, he has it. Ryan has it. My name is Deb Keller Mitchell. I'm the athletic director at West High School in Bakersfield, California. And Ryan Matthews was um, a student here um, all four years. Uh, he was up in Tehachapi. His mom was, uh, was living there. His junior year, uh, he went on to a senior field team and helped lead us to a Valley Championship. What makes Ryan stand out is, number one, his ability on the field. Uh, Ryan has uh, tremendous balance. Um, he's quick, he's smart, he's tough. Uh, unbelievably explosive uh, probably stands out. His, his core strength and his balance to go along with his speed and power are unparalleled. He is literally the best player that we've had, almost regardless of what position you put him at. Ryan is very quiet, uh, but uh, when he got around the group, they all chanted it. They don't even know. They don't even know. They don't know how good he is. His senior year, we made it all the way to the quarterfinals and uh, became the uh, all-time rushing leader in Kern County. I love West High, you know, that, that, was, a, that was probably the beginning of a, you know, a, a, real, a real start of my career was at West High, you know, my senior year really took off, it's just, you know, my, my quarterback getting hurt, me going in the shotgun and playing, you know, the Wildcat and just running the ball like that, and uh, my main goal was just to play, you know, it was just play and have fun. You know, I watched a couple highlights the other day, you know, my coach gave them to me and I, I watched them and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's weird to see how many times I carried the ball, you know, just direct snap and just, you know, the fake handoff and just run, so it, it was fun, you know, it was really fun while last year. He, it made me tired watching him. He ran and ran and ran and ran. He went from being our running back to being our quarterback who just kept running. Ryan would get the ball and you just never knew what he was going to do with it and he would just burst out of a group of players and off he would run and it was just exciting to watch. Once he got in the varsity and he started doing things that we would never coached him to do uh, the, you know, the bells and whistles kind of went off, but he's faced situations where there's been prejudice dealt against him. He's faced situations where, you know, academically he was struggling in, in some areas and had to overcome those, um, you know, and he had to really learn to uh, become self-motivated and, and self-dependent in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, and, and each time uh, he would go through these struggles, sometimes he'd get knocked down, but he'd pick himself up. And there were, there were times where he was very discouraged and you just had to say, hey, stick through this, you know, you, you can make it. You know, they kind of took over the father figure, you know, um, just being able to be there and, uh, you know, they kind of took me under the wing, you know, I really didn't have a father figure in my life, so, you know, just as well as being a coach, you know, they did whatever they could to, you know, help me out and, and just be there for me. I cried um, when he was drafted. I think it's, it's a part of all of us, you know, it's, it's, it's a pride factor to see a young man that that you coached and to know that he's a, a very nice young man and very humble and he's very well deserving. He was certainly a leader, uh, but it wasn't because of what he said, it was because of what he did. He never put himself above the team. I think he kind of flipped a switch at Fresno State where he started focusing more on his diet uh, and, and being where he, I mean, in high school he made 99% of the workouts. In college I think he made 100%. He's just electrifying. He sold tickets. <laughs> I mean, at every every game, people came to watch him run. I mean, sometimes I feel like I came to the game to watch him run. <laughs> like, and I'm playing in it. The moral of the story with Ryan. Everybody has their own story, but with with Ryan, you know, he had goals and aspirations to be the best. That's what he wanted to be. So he took his life and he changed. He changed his ways. He changed the way he ate. 
He changed the way he slept. He changed the way he trained. He just changed the way he did things, and it made huge difference in his body and, and his approach and everything else. So then all of a sudden he got really serious and he started blowing the weights up and started really going to town. And then all of a sudden it showed on the field the legs, the great leg strength that he has is the reason he can cut and accelerate like he does. Not that he couldn't do that before, but he's better now. And, and his upper body strength, when he stiff arms a guy, I don't know if you've ever watched him run when he stiffs on the guys, I mean, he knocks them down. And everybody always asks me about his speed. You know, Kyle Wilson from Boise never caught him. Nobody's ever caught him from behind in the game. I mean, he jumps over guys for touchdowns. I mean, he's, a, he's an amazing runner. And when he says, the thing I like about him, it's going to take hard work and determination to get where I want to go. The only person stopping me from reaching my goals is me and me only. You know, for a kid to say that's great, now for him to follow it up shows a lot. And he did that. Inside the 10, lowers his head and picks up another five yards. Even when everybody else is down, Ryan's the one still like, give me the ball, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to bring us back in this game. You know, I always wanted to be the best. You know, I always wanted to be the best and, uh, you know, giving up and quitting wasn't, wasn't an option. And, uh, you know, I think I, I'm glad I didn't give up. You know, I'm really glad and uh, that's just my personality. You know, I'm a competitor and I like to compete. I've never been to a big time. Wasn't didn't go to a big time high school. You know, I came here to Fresno State, and it's a mid-major, you know, college. So, you know, I never really, I don't think I really got the recognition that you know, I could have got if I would have went to these other schools. But you know, I did what I could with it. And, uh, you know, I really got help, a lot of help from the coaches and, and teammates and, and everything. And I never gave up. When we talk about Ryan Matthews, I think he's a great football player. But I think more than that, I think he's a really great person. Ryan has always been a good person that that cares about people. Uh, you know, with, with very little ego. And I, th I think that, that carries through and his, his teammates respect that about him. He's not asking for any favors uh, or any special treatment. He's going to do what needs to be done. Um, and he's, he's going to be an honest person. Uh, and I think that, that really matters. He was always so respectful. He never talked back. He always, even though there was kind of a little rough patch in there, he picked up the ball and he ran, and he ran far. I believe AJ saw a version of LT, LaDainian Thomason, uh, in Ryan. Um, and I, I, I think it took him back nine years ago to when he drafted him. Whoever passed up on him is definitely going to regret it, I promise you that. A lot of people are comparing me to LT and stuff, but you know, just, just going to be able to try and make my own le legacy there, you know, like he did, is going to be, is going to be, is what I'm looking forward to. You know, he did a lot of good things there, and I'm going to look forward to do the same thing.